are going to continue with our beginner's look at Comp Biz, picking up from where we left off in the last video with the warning message telling us that if we make changes in the Comp Biz Config Settings Manager, there is a possibility of us making our desktop totally unusable. We are going to make some changes. Please make sure that you've got a backup of any important files before changing anything in the Comp Biz Config Settings Manager. I'm going to close the warning. I'm also going to make a note of what is turned on in each of the categories. We've got all, in the general we've got commands, OpenGL, composite, GNOME compatibility, all activated. Under accessibility, nothing. Under the desktop, expo, desktop cube, and rotate cube. Under the effects, we've got the animations turned on and window decoration. Under Extras, nothing is activated. Image Loading, we have PNG. And then Utility, we've got Regex Matching and Comp is Library Toolbox. And the last one down here, Windows Management, we have Move Windows, Resize Windows, Static Application Switcher, and Grid. I'm going to recommend that we do not go into Preferences. It has caused problems for me and I'm running Linux Mint 17.1 32-bit. If you're running something else, you may or may not run into problems with the preferences. The first change I'm going to make is I'm going up into the effects and I'm going to turn on cube reflection and deformation. I can turn it on right here by clicking the checkbox or I can click on the feature and turn it on under use this plugin. This does the same thing that we just saw. We're under the cube caps. We see the top cap is set as fusioncap.png and the bottom one compiscap.png and a little message pops up here telling us it will only allow PNG and .svg files. We can click on new to add a new one. I don't have any pictures so I will cancel out and close this. If I select this PNG, we can delete it, edit, and move it, well this one down, but up as well if we have more than one. Going over to the Reflection tab, we'll see the reflection in a minute. We can make some minor changes here. And then this third tab is Deformation. Right now it's set as Cylinder. To see this work, I'm going to hold down Control and Alt. I'm going to press my left mouse button and move it in and there is our cylinder. If I move the mouse down we see the top has a cap and the bottom has a cap and there's that reflection that we can make some changes with in that middle tab. I can move to the next workspace or back. Releasing the mouse button brings up that workspace. If I hold down Control Alt and hit the right arrow key it takes us to the next workspace. But notice our cylinder is gone. We're back to the cube that we saw in the last video. And then the left arrow key takes us back. I'm going to change this cylinder to sphere. Now when I hold Control Alt and bring my mouse towards the center, it shows us this oblong sphere. To make this more round, I'm going to change the aspect ratio to be 1. Now when I hold Control alt and use my mouse, we see that it's more circular. I'm going to uncheck Deform Caps, do the same thing, hold down Control alt and use my mouse, and we see that the top and bottom are now flat. I'm going back to the effects category and I want to turn on the wobbly windows. Checking that checkbox and now I've got wobbly windows. Looking at the animations, this is where we can change the animations or effects when we open, close, minimize, or maximize a window. 
I am going to add a new effect. This will be a random effect and I'm going to change the time from 50 to about 300 to make sure that we can notice this effect. And the window match, I will say title equals calc. That means if the window title ends with calc, apply this effect, which is random. And we have nothing selected under random. I'm going to select sidekick. I'm picking that one because it is different enough than the others that we will notice it. Sidekick will make it spin around to open. To see this effect take place, I will close calc and open it back up. Office, LibreOffice calc. And we see that it did not spin to open up. That is because these effects all above it took a priority. So I want to select our new effect and move it up. Now it will check this one before any of the others and apply the first one that it can. Go back to menu, office calc, and there we saw it spin. We can also change the number of spins. If we go over to the right and I come down to the animation for sidekick, it's saying a half a rotation. Let's make it spin three times. Now when I open it, we saw it spin around three times. Going back to open animations, instead of having just sidekick, I will put on wave and dream. So now it will randomly select between those three every time I open LibreOffice Calc. There used to be an option here for fire. So when you closed your window, your window would just burst into flames and disappear. That effect is no longer available because, let me go back here, under all we see this OpenGL. In the release 9.9, .9, I think it was, the OpenGL effects had some conflict with the burn effect. That's why that one is removed. Even if you add it in, it will not work because of the conflicts with the OpenGL. To know what version we're using, I will go down to menu and open a terminal and type in comp is space dash dash version. And we see that we are using version 0.9.11.3. So if you want that burn effect, you've got to go back and load in comp is version 9.8 or less. And I'm not even sure if those will work with Linux Mate 17.1. To install version 9.8 will require a PPA, and we haven't talked about those yet. We will talk about them in a future episode. But with our current version of CompIS, the burn effect is not available. There are just a few more things I have to say about the CompIS Config Settings Manager, and we'll hear about those in the next video. If you like these videos, please tell a friend.